Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kodash. Yahweh being the Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be. Ba'in Hada Shem name Yahweh Shai be Nimo begotten Son, meaning He deliver, He saves. Rachakodash on the Spirit, double honors unto the Apostles, great Moose, and everyone, peace, blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom, and above all, back at it when left to the Spirit of Power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Lord willing to be was edifying. And this lesson is going into how you know the Lord is going to, is the ultimate arch and nemesis to this world. Okay, the Lord Yahweh Bashmash is the ultimate arch nemesis to this world. You know, when you go into that word nemesis, okay, it says uh, it, it it has pagan origins, you know, when you, when you think about it, okay, but the concept of it is still spiritual, okay? And the ultimate one, and really the fact of the matter is Yahweh Hashemashah is the true nemesis, you know, because apparently nemesis goes back to a Greek idol, you know? It says a uh, Greek goddess of retributive justice, but really Yahweh Hashemashah is the one who retributes and who executes justice in the earth, man. Not no idol god, okay? Idol gods are just the works of men's hands. You know, ultimately they don't exist, man. Okay, but the Lord, He's the one who truly, you know, does right or wrong in the earth, man. And what I mean by right or wrong, meaning that if someone wrongs someone, the Lord can make it right. Or if someone, you know, is uh, if someone has done something wrong, the Lord can make them, you know, the Lord can uh can execute judgment upon them, man. Okay, that's in the letter of Jeremiah, aka Baruch, the sixth chapter. You see. But it says, um, one that inflicts retribution or vengeance, okay, a formidable or usually victorious rival or opponent, and that's, you know, that's the Lord, the, the Lord is, is an opponent, all right, the Lord is adverse to the wickedness of this world, it says an act or effect of retribution, all right, that's the point right there, you know, so Yahweh Bashmashai is the ultimate nemesis to this world man okay so nemesis pretty much one that inflicts retribution or vengeance this is um second Ezra 7 and 43 it says but the day of doom shall be the end of this time We're talking about this present time esau edom and rulership esau edom's uh rulership is going to go out with the bang literally all right like it says in second peter 3 and 10 all right how the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, man. That great noise is the destruction and the explosions from the nuclear missiles round about. And it says the elements melt them with fervent heat. That fervent heat is going into the missile fire, man. Okay? And it says, so the end of Esau's time is going to be uh, with destruction. It says, and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past. Okay. So, you know, when you go into second Ezra six and nine, this is how Esau is the end of the world. Jacob's the beginning of it that followeth, man. All right. So the end of Esau's world has to go, has to go out with a bang, has to go out with destruction, man. And what's going to follow the, 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 the incorruptible kingdom of Yahweh Shemel Shai. And now it says the day of doom, right? Now, when you go into the word doom, the word is uh justice, you know? So ultimately, the day of doom is the day of justice, the day of judgment, okay? The judgment from Yahweh Bashmah Shai, proving that what? Yahweh Bashmah Shai is a nemesis to this world, man. And he will render a recompense of judgment unto those, you know, who are who are living wickedly and will render a reward of mercy and grace unto the righteous who receive his discipline, okay? Uh, it's a spirit, brother. Just put up a video. Death angels will have no mercy, man. Yeah, okay? Not upon the wicked. You know, but upon the elect, mercy will be granted. Okay? This is 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. It says, seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh Shemashai to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right? So it's righteous for the Lord to repay back vengeance unto the wicked doers who troubled his elect. It says, unto you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. Right? So we're that's what we're doing now. We're resting with the Lord. You know, we're waiting upon Yahweh Shemashai. We're not trying to take matters into our own hands. We're not trying to avenge ourselves. We're letting Yahweh Bashmashai, we're giving Yahweh Bashmashai place in the wrath. You know, vengeance belongeth unto him. Okay, so we're just resting in the Lord. We're waiting 
in this truth, all right? Trying trying our best to walk uprightly, being patient, okay? Waiting for our reward. Yahweh Hashem Shabbat does we receive it, okay? But we must endure to the end in order to be saved. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 8, inflaming fire, taking vengeance, going back to that word nemesis, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shemashiach. That's right. So Yahweh Shemashiach is getting ready to bring vengeance upon the wicked and the adversaries of this world, man. Okay. Revelation 20 and 12, and I saw the dead, small and great. Stand before Yahweh Mashai, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which are written in the books according to their works, right? Okay, so everybody's gonna get rendered according to their works, you know, whether you're being good or, or good or evil. All right, everybody's gonna get according to their works, man. All right, the Lord is gonna judge everyone according to the, to the book of life, you know. It says, um, and the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged, every man according to their works, man. That's right. Okay, so a lot of people, you know, they're getting ready to die and be destroyed, man. Okay? And they're getting ready to, to, to taste of that nuclear missile destruction, taste of the vengeance of Yahweh Shemashai, because they wanted to live adverse to the ways of the Lord. So now the Lord is going to walk contrary to them. Like the Lord said, if you walk contrary unto me, he'll walk contrary unto thee. You know, and chastise you seven times more for your sins, man. And bring all types of strange calamities and destructions and judgments upon you. That's in the book of Leviticus, the 26th chapter. Okay? And that's why we can't be friends of this world. We have to be enemies of this world and friends with Yahweh Shemashai. Because if you're being a friend of this world, then they're an enemy of the Lord, okay, that doesn't mean, you know, you don't try your best to be at peace with all men, as the scriptures instruct us to do so, if it be possible, but that doesn't mean that you're friends with this world, okay, you're just being peaceable, you know, until the time being, when Yahweh Bashmashai starts raising up justice and judgment in the earth, man, which he does that, you know, daily, when I mean, you think about it, but nonetheless, okay, that ultimate judgment is coming, and we pray the Lord have mercy upon us in, in, in those times, man. All right, it's like you're saying, wrath, remember mercy. James 4 and 4, ye adulterers, ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. So if you're a friend of this world, guess what? The Most High is your nemesis. You are his enemy. And if you don't repent, he will destroy you along with the world. And that's why Yahweh Hashem Shai chastises us so that it leads unto our repentance. So it leads unto the fear of the Lord. You see, because you say how he chastises us or he corrects us so that we don't get condemned with the rest of the world. I believe that's 1 Corinthians 11 and 31. Okay? So be grateful, man, that Yahweh Hashem Shai puts you through the fire. All right? Chastises you. So you don't get caught up with the rest of this world. Okay? This is 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. The world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh Shemashai abideth forever. Right? So all those people who wanted to follow after their worldly ways guess what like you say first Corinthians 7 the fashion of this world passes away so this world's going to pass away but those who are going to remain are those who do the will of Yahweh Shemashai because Yahweh Shemashai's righteousness will always remain so if you're aligning yourself within that righteousness guess what you will always remain too okay that's why Yahweh Shemashai said you know those who will overcome the elect he's going to make them a pillar in the house of his of his power man and they shall neither go out anymore, you know, because they're going to be established, man. Okay. This is Ezekiel 7 and 2. Also thou son of man, thus saith the Lord power unto the land of Israel. An end has come. An end. The end has come upon the four corners of the land. Now the end has come upon thee. And I will send mine anger upon thee. That's right. We're in the end. The day of, we're, we're approaching the day of doom. So knowing that Yahweh Shemashah's anger 
is going to be casted upon this place with fierceness and wrath and judgment. Okay? Scripture says how the Lord is angry with the wicked every day. So imagine you angry with someone every day and they just continually doing things that make you angry. You know, and they're not trying to uh, change their ways or apologize or, or, you know, humble down. They're just continually doing more and more things that make you angry. What, what do you think that's going to lead up to? Judgment, man. Okay? Judgment. It says, now is the end come upon thee, and I will send mine anger upon thee, and, I, and will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And mine eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thou saith the Lord, power and evil, and only evil. Behold, is come, and end is come, the end is come, it watch for thee, behold, it is come. So we're at the end, man. Okay? We're at the end of this thing, man. Yahweh Shmashai's major judgment is about to be playing out sooner than we think, man. We already see a certain degree of it now via the prophecies that are uh, said to be fulfilled in these times. Okay? So knowing that, we pray Yahweh Shmashai, you know, has mercy upon us and that we do keep discipline so we can obtain his mercy. You know? And be his friend. Okay? Like the Yahweh Shai said, you are my disciples. You know, if you if you are my friends, if you do what I command you, roughly paraphrasing. Jeremiah 50 and 29. Call ye, call the call together the archers against Babylon. All ye that bend the bow, camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her. So that's that vengeance. Okay, that's that nemesis. Alright, Yahweh is gonna recompense this place. That's why the scripture say in Revelation 18, rejoice thou over her, you holy prophets and apostles. For Yahweh Bashmashai hath what? Hath avenged you on her, okay? Or of her. So the Lord is going to get vengeance and avenge his elect, all right, upon this place. You know, because this place is drunken with the blood of the saints and the martyrs and the prophets of Yahweh Bashmashai, okay? It says, Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she hath done, do unto her, for she hath been proud against the Lord against the Holy One of Israel. So if you're being proud against the Lord, you're making the Lord your nemesis. And that's a fight that you're never gonna win, okay? No matter how hard you try, you will always lose that battle, all right? Deuteronomy 32 and 35, to me belongeth vengeance and recompense. You see, so to Yahweh Shai is gonna be the one executing vengeance and recompense, man. And you see why the Lord tells us not to take matters into our own hands because, you know, we're not completely faultless ourselves. So, you know, how can we truly execute judgment if we still have, you know, uh, uh, faults? Now, of course, if we're of the elect, the scripture said we're going to be found without fault, without God, because the Abba is not going to impute iniquity upon us. But the Lord has the ultimate right for judgment because no one can judge him. No one can point the finger at him and say, hey, look, you got this, that, and the third. And of course, you know, Yahweh Shemeshai will raise up judges and will raise up men to execute judgment, execute righteous judgment. You know, that's written in the scriptures. But to, to the Lord belongeth judgment and recompense and vengeance, man. Because he's faultless. He has he has every right to, to, to point the finger at someone. And guess what? Can't nobody point the finger back at him. And even though you can't lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect, you know, because the Yahweh Shemeshach will justify them. So you can't really point a finger at his elect either. But, you know, our righteousness has filthy rags. So when the Lord executes that judgment, hey, we're blameless, man. Because the Lord did it. You know, can't nobody say anything. The Lord did it. All right? Lest they be found happily to fight even against Yahweh Shemeshach. Okay? But like the scripture say, who have hardened their self against him. And have prospered. So if anybody wants to harden themselves against the Lord, they're going to fail. Ask Pharaoh, okay, and his men who got drowned in the Red Sea. They'll tell you, you know. <laughs> All right, this is uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 35. says, to, to me belong the vengeance and recompense. So to the Lord, he's the nemesis of this world. Their foot shall slide in due time, right? So Yahweh Shemeshach is going to get him in due season when he's ready to judge him, Okay. Because people think that just because the Lord ain't judging in that moment that what they're doing is okay. But nah, the Lord is just long-suffering. He's giving you time to repent and turn back before he, you know, lays the lays the smack down. Okay? It says, for the day of calamity, for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste, man. That's right. 
So the day of these people calamities is at hand, man. Judgment day is approaching us sooner than we believe. Jacob's trouble is approaching sooner than we believe, man. Now is the time to repent and get right with Yahweh Shemashai. Okay? Because the Lord is a nemesis to this world and will avenge, you know, his elect. All right, so y'all by Shem Shabbat is out. This video is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem El Shai, by Shem Kakodash. Double honor to the Apostle of the Great Millstone, the Ruwal. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Amen, the Bapa.